Hello and welcome to this week's State of the Market video where we feature a market in hopefully five minutes or less. This week we're back with Gary Morrison. He's vice president here at Erner Berry, a box beef reporter, shrimp reporter, and uh, wears a lot of hats. So we're really excited to hear from you this week. Gary, welcome to the show. Thanks. Welcome. Uh, thanks for having me and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Well, we're always glad to have you because it's always insightful. And speaking of insightful, Gary, <laughs> there's a whole new section of Comtel called Insights where your words are often featured. So if you wouldn't mind pulling it up, I'd love to talk a little bit about your most recent analysis piece, which was fantastic. Thanks. Um, so I'm just going to pull up Comtel and show you where we can find some of those analysis pieces and all the insights from all our expert market reporter. So uh, we have this new insights tab right here. You can see all our news and all our information in a variety of different ways, uh, video, podcast, or you can read it. But I want to really focus on the analysis piece uh, that I just recently wrote that went out on a, uh, to our team. So these, this uh, area has all um, short analysis that's really pertinent to the market that makes people, our customers, make quick decisions and it gives them the details behind why prices are moving um, the way they are. And I, I want to focus on this one that I, that I wrote last week because it shows that all commodities are moving higher in 2021. It really started in May 2020 uh, when we hit that trough in commodity prices right after the initial lockdowns of, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but ever since then, prices have been on the upswing and have really accelerated since January. Um, if we can go down a little bit, um, this second chart in the analysis shows where commodity prices move from January 1 uh, till the end of the March. So, March to the, so the first quarter of 2021. It's not relegated to, to protein, um, but as we look in our industry, food prices are up and they are up significantly in a lot of categories. Uh, of the beef index up nearly 18%. Uh, pork cutout up 35 percent, uh, chicken up 30 percent, uh, shrimp and uh, salmon up in the, the, the small single digits. But you look at uh, across that chart, I mean, you have other agricultural items, corn, soybeans, uh, you have energy, you got oil. Um, but really, you know, the number one driver of, of, of building right now, lumber, lumber prices are up 60 percent just from the start of the year. Um, so it's been broad based and there's a lot of factors that have been uh, driving these commodity price uh, changes. You know, number one being supply chain disruptions. I know that you guys are hosting a, a supply chain insights next week. So for all the people that are you know watching this right now, that's something that you should sign up for because you're going to hear about a lot of the insights um, of what's driving some of those issues. There's container shortages uh, that are a top of mind for many people in industries. Uh, there's labor challenges across all industries. Um, there's port challenges when we do when we are able to get product here into the United States, um, and then there's some trucking issues. So I'm sure all those things will be touched on um, in that next week, and it's something that's driving prices up. So it's not only um, some of that stuff, but you, you think about it. Um, there's been stimulus packages that have you know come across the U.S. and other countries that have put some money into the market at a significant pace. Um, so people have extra money in their pocket, and they're spending it across the board and that's driving prices as well um, so you know certainly broad-based gains in commodities foods not the only inflationary uh, item out there you know there's there's challenges across the board um, demand is robust for for many things and there are some supply challenges because of uh, what's going on with logistics and you know we'll touch on that you know next week a little bit a little bit more um, that's really you know all I can say you know right now until things change um, dramatically, uh, we don't see that happening, you know, initially here in the next couple months, you know, then we look, it looks like prices are going to, you know, continue to stay elevated across many, many items. Laura. Wow. You know, I was aware of some of these issues from a recent podcast that I did. Um, but to look at lumber, mm -hmm. to look at copper, right, building materials, these are things that, that don't cross my mind or cross my desk very often. And this is really uh, insightful information. Got to use insightful as many times as possible today, <laughs> Gary, because insights next week, big launch. If you're not signed up, remember that you can get a free trial of Comtel uh, during this period of time only. Get a chance to read every amazing thing that Gary writes. 
look at our tables, look at the history. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic event, and I don't want to uh, to brag, but I hear that some of the hosts of the webinars are pretty cool. So be there, be square. Gary, thank you as usual. You did a great job today. Love to read your analysis. It is always well written, and it always makes great, solid points that are top of mind for everyone in the business. We appreciate being on, and you know, if anyone has any additional questions, they can certainly reach out um, to myself or to you, and you can directly um, get them in touch with us. Absolutely. Thanks again for watching the State of the Market video with Gary Morrison, Vice President here at Erner Berry, Fox Beef Reporter, Shrimp Reporter, and again, you know, just a man with many, many hats, none of which is he wearing right now. I'm Laura Zinger, host of the Market Digest podcast and head of territory sales here at Erner Berry. Have a great day.